the how do you traverse a linked list and hence count the number of nodes in a given linked list so this is the question count the number of nodes in a linked list so what to do so first step whenever you are given such question is draw it pictorially so we will draw a pictorial so for any linked list problem so you should draw something like this you should draw several nodes so one is the data part and one is the next pointer okay so what is essential in all linked list problem is that okay so there will be a start pointer so these are the bare necessities so we will have a start pointer this is the first element then a link to the next element so let the next element be this one and we have so the next element let there be three four elements so there is a next pointer to this which now links to the next element so this is how we first draw the picture okay uh, let's have four elements in our link list so the last element is there and finally what we do is that we should have a null which represents that okay the next pointer of the final node or the last node should be null so this is null so this pictorial representation helps quite a lot in solving linked list problem so this is the start pointer this is the start pointer these are all nodes and each node has one data part plus a next pointer okay so now what should you do now it becomes so this is the link list that we have now let's say we have elements 25 36 12 and 8 okay so what we need to do is that okay so let's see now in again the physical pictorial world so when i have to travel what will i do if this is kind of some islands are there and some bridges are there in between so what you will do so you will start from the shore you will go to the first island so i will go to the first island i come here i will say that okay i have visited count i have a variable called count and it is zero initially when i come here using the start pointer i come to this one so what happens now is I make count is equal to 1 next I go to this place using the link or the bridge which tells that okay where is the next island or the node I come here now I say that okay I'm at the next island or node and I do count is equal to 2 next what happens is okay so we go further using this link we go to the next node which is 12 and I say okay now the count is 3 and finally what happens is we go to the next node which is 8 and I say now that my counter is 4 count is 4 so what happens next okay again I will see the next is there any next link or bridge but I see that okay I go there and find that this is null this is the traversal I have to do and then I find that okay there are four nodes 
in the linked list okay so this is quite simple so now what will happen is that we have drawn the pictorial representation and how does this traversal happen so this happens using another temporary pointer so what i do is i define a temp pointer so which what i do initially i make temp is equal to start okay so temp is initially made equal to start which means now that okay the person who is going to traverse where should he point at the first instant he should point to the starting node and he points there now what i do is i say that okay i will check what i will check if temp is not equal to null so if temp is not equal to null what will i do i will do count plus plus so this is what i'm given so if temp is not null i see that at least one element is there i do count plus plus then what will happen i will do i have to now traverse the next element so how does that happen in computer language so i will write temp is equal to temp arrow next so this is the statement that means okay so this is temp now and one very important thing here is that we should know the convention is that if there is a node which i represent pictorially like this two nodes say and if this is pointer to the first node and data is 5 this is 6 so temp if i have to access the data i will do temp arrow data so this is equal to 5 and this is another pointer here so let's say it's ptr2 so now temp next will be equal to this one so this sixth point is the ptr2 so this is the thing so hence when i have to traverse and i have to go to the next element i will say temp is equal to temp next so now temp will move and it will come here somewhere so it will be now temp is equal to temp next so temp was here now it is removed and it comes here again i will put it in a for loop so i will say that okay if temp is not equal to null so temp is not null here also so what will happen is count plus plus i do so it becomes 2 now and temp is equal to temp next so temp is this one and temp next is this pointer so now temp points to this place so this is temp again temp is not equal to null so what i do i do count plus plus it becomes 3 and i check and what i make i make temp is equal to temp next so as a result what happens now temp was here it will go to this place so now temp our temp is here again it checks temp is not equal to null so it will do count plus plus and temp is equal to temp next so now where will our temp go our temp will now become equal to null and hence if temp is equal not equal to null is false it will come out of the loop and it will give us four so this is the simple thing how to traverse a linked list and again so how to find the number of nodes using count so we will now simply write some code here so let's try to write the code so i will have a function called int count and i will have 
subtract node star head and then so what will I do so I will do So what we see is that int count is defined and then what we will need to do is we will write struct node star temp this is the temporary pointer that we define and we make it equal to head okay so what happens using this one is we have this is the linked list something like this and this is the head of the linked list so i make a temp and make it equal to head okay so this is fine so let's see next what happens so what i do is while temp is not equal to null and then what we do is we will do count plus plus and then temp is equal to temp next so this will be our code and we haven't defined a count variable so we will define it int count is equal to zero and then finally what we will do return count okay so this will be the code and let's now check for our example link list so we have let's say two there is seven eight and let's say twelve so this is a link list of four elements so now what happens is we have a start or head that we have written here so it's a head and then we have we make a temp pointer and we point to this one so temp is equal to head so this is done here then while temp is not equal to null so initially it's not null count plus plus so count now becomes one temp is equal to temp next so now temp comes here because temp is this one temp next is this so temp is now here after one loop so now let's see again is temp null so no it's not null so count plus plus it is becoming two temp is equal to temp next so temp next is now this one so temp becomes temp next so temp is now here again is temp is equal to null so no so count plus plus it becomes 3 and temp is equal to temp next so it moves there and now temp is equal to null no so count plus plus 4 and temp is equal to temp next now temp next is null so it becomes null and now while temp is not equal to null is not true it comes out of the loop and returns so this is about traversing a linked list and counting the number of nodes. So if you like this video then you please subscribe to my channel to see more such videos and you can like this video and share it on your Facebook account so that other people can get also help and of course me. Thanks a lot.